Sup guys, it's Jacob here. Thank you, first and foremost, for clicking on my video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Manscaped. Now Manscaped do have a complete range of products on their website, but their most recent product, and the one that I'm using at the moment, is this, the Lawn Mower 4.0. So not only is the packaging impressive, but apparently, it's a whole new balls game. And here it is now, the latest addition to Manscaped's incredible selection of male grooming products. I've been using the products for a good couple of weeks now. I love them. There's no way I'd be making this video if I didn't. Manscaped use ceramic blades with skin safe technology, which means there's absolutely no risk of nicks or cuts. In fact, you could probably do it blindfolded. Not only that, but you can do it in the shower also. It's completely 100% waterproof and it's even got an LED light. So power or no power, you can still get the job done. For those wondering, is it a tool just for the downstairs area? No, no it's not. It's actually good for your entire body, including your face. And for anyone wondering, that's the length. But if that's too short for you, there are four different trimmer guard options, which means four different lengths, which means if you really wanted to, you could probably even draw a picture. It looks good, it's waterproof, it's rechargeable with a 90 minute charge, and it's only one of the incredible selection of products on the manscaped.com website. So head over there, check out www.manscaped.com, use code JACOBD20, that's J-A-C-B-D-2-0, for 20% off your entire order. Join myself, your other favourite YouTubers, and over 2 million men worldwide happily using these products. Once again, head down into the description box below, click the link, check out the entire range of products, use my discount code, happy days. Enjoy the video guys, and peace out. What is up you guys? And welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I am your host, Jacob McDonald, and today, we're gonna to be looking at the number 17th ranked NFL player in the entire league for the year of 2021. His name is Xavier Howard. He's a cornerback. He's, uh, he's going to be out there on, on an island at times with a wide receiver. But with all of that being said, it's, uh, it's time we check out the swag. Now, I don't have any Miami Dolphins gear, which is a crying shame in my opinion. But what I do have is a fellow Florida team, Florida-based team. So we're going to stick with Fournette. We're going to wish both Xavier and Fournette well in this coming season. And we're going to continue. So let's roll the intro and get into this. And I guess when I think about cornerbacks, you're hard pressed to, to, to sort of think of a, a more polarizing cornerback in the entire league than Jalen Ramsey. And he hasn't been on this list yet. Will he be the top cornerback? Quite possibly. So Jalen goes out there, he, he talks the talk, but he also walks the walk, which is the thing that pisses so many people off, right? It's the same with Conor McGregor of the UFC. It's the same with Jalen Ramsey of the NFL. But that doesn't mean a more unassuming, possibly quieter on the field type of player doesn't get the attention deserved from his fellow NFL players. Now, I might be completely off in assuming that Xavier Howard is anything like that. But due to the fact I haven't heard his name before, I'm thinking he's either new to the league or just goes about his business. So let's find out. Uh, are you comfortable telling me who you'd vote for number one overall? It's a lot of number ones, to be honest. That's a tough decision. I could say X, too, cause, but I know you're going to say I'm biased because it's my teammate. Okay, to be biased. Okay, all right, then I would go with X. Xavier Howard should be number one right now. He had 10 picks. Who had 10 picks this year? Nobody. 10 picks in a season? Now, I know it's not going to be the NFL record for cornerbacks, but I'd be damned if it's not a Dolphins record. Well, that, my friends, is about the closest you're ever going to get to reading someone's picks. Now, who's right, were they? Let's see. For players, finding... Quite possibly, Justin Jefferson's picks. Let's go through them. Number one, TJ Watt. Number two, Aaron Rodgers. Number three, Aaron Donald. Number four, Pat Mahomes. And is that... Is that Justin Jefferson down, down there at number 12? No. How is a guy picking their top four, then slotting in a number 12... And a number 16. That's a man who knows what he likes and knows what he doesn't. Getting a spot on their top 100 ballot for one of the NFL's best cornerbacks require just a simple mark. I won't put some other DBs, man. I'm trying to think corn. Oh, X, I'm tripping. Let's yeah. go, baby. Hey, all right. Yes, sir. Sunday best. Yes, sir. I need your Sunday best, man. 
Xavier Howard brought his best every Sunday and even the occasional Thursday night. It's picked. Intercepted by Howard. The Dolphins led the NFL in takeaways in 2020 with 29. And Xavier Howard does it again. And all pro defensive back Xavier Howard accounted for 10 of them. All 29 picks for the entire team in that season. All right, maybe I'll take back what I said before. 10 picks in a season for a cornerback at Miami might not actually be that impressive. Let's have a look at his stats. Xavier Howard, 6 foot 1, 203 pounds. Pick number 38 in the second round of the 2016 draft to Miami. He's been at the Dolphins ever since. He made first team all pro last year. Uh, two Pro Bowls in total, 2018 and 2020. And he is the two time NFL interceptions leader in both 2018 and 2020. So I'm going to say he most probably had a spot on the 2019 list, got dropped for 2020 due to unknown reasons at this point, and he's been brought back in extremely impressive fashion and lands at number 17 on the list. Runs a 4.58 40-yard dash, 33-inch vertical jump, 10-foot-2 broad jump, 11 reps on the bench press. So I'm not going to say that those are the best I've seen, but you add in some real football now, so you add in a real eye for that ball a ball hawk and those attributes are going to be just fine so in 2018 at the end of the season he led the league in interceptions with Chicago Bears corner Kyle Fuller and Atlanta Falcons safety DeMonte Kazee with seven he was then named to his first Pro Bowl but I don't believe he got a spot in the top 100 in 2019 he signed a five-year 76.5 million dollar contract extension making him the highest paid cornerback in the league but unfortunately, in week three, he was ejected for slapping wide receiver Cedric Wilson Jr. on the face mask. He was forced to miss the next three games due to a knee injury. He made his return in week eight against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And funnily enough, in that game, he recorded an interception off a pass from Mason Rudolph before re-injuring his knee. Without Howard on the field for the rest of the game, the Dolphins lost 27-14. He was placed on injured reserve on October 29th, 2019 with a knee injury. And that is how his 2019 season concluded. He was placed on the active, physically unable to perform list by the Dolphins at the start of training camp on July 28th, 2020. So that's that's nine months later, and he's still unable to perform. He was moved to the reserve list by the team on August 11th, 2020. And some good news, he was activated from both lists on August 27th, 2020, just prior to the start of the season. He played all 16 games. He got 51 combined tackles, 40 solo, 11 assisted, no sacks, 20 passes deflected, 10 interceptions for 77 yards, longest interception of 29 yards, one forced fumble, and two league-leading stats in passes deflected with 20 and interceptions with 10. Put it this way, guys. In 56 total games played in the NFL, this man has 54 total passes deflected. So that, to me, unless he's got arms like Inspector Gadget, means he really knows what he's doing. He can read the game, as all cornerbacks can, of course. But, but you know, something tells me that he sees things just a slight bit faster than your average out there. So with all of that being said, he's on his second contract. He's come back after a season-ending injury to absolutely dominate the league and be the 17th ranked player. All he does is pick off passes. X is the first player since 2007 to have double-digit picks. Intercepted! Xavier! Oh. That's right. One more thing. Night Train Lane logged 14 interceptions as a rookie in 1952 while playing for the Los Angeles Rams. I feel like we've looked up the stat once prior. I feel like there was a safety with 11. No, it can't have been. A safety with 9, actually. Why have we looked this list up before? I'll get it. Don't you worry, I'll get it. I reckon it was a safety. I can't. I couldn't be sure. I couldn't be sure. When I edit this series, I'll know. But I think it was a safety who got nine interceptions for the year, and they weren't included on this list. But there is one guy who is included on this list. At equal 27th all time, Xavier Howard. From Miami, 10 interceptions for 77 return yards at an average of 7.7 .7 with the longest return of 29. 27th all time. Now let's look at the Miami Dolphins. And there we have it. Xavier Howard, equal first with Dick Westmoreland. And believe it or not, guys, Dick Anderson um, holds equal third three times with eight in the years 1968, 1970, and 1973. And I'll tell you what, to think that Dick Anderson and Dick Westmoreland were both playing for the Miami Dolphins at the same time, now that really would have been something to behold. But with all that being said, that was... Uh, 
in excess of 50 years ago. The year currently is 2021, and it is indeed the year of Xavier and Howard. 2007 to have double digit picks. Intercepted! Xavier Howard! Another one! Another one! But the numbers don't lie. He gets his hands on the ball a lot. Pressure gets it off downfield. Pick, Pick off by the X Man, his 10th of the year. That's something that's got to be factored in. You can't get much more of a clean pick than that. That's a man who's read a play and got himself in position. And so, um, last year I would say the, the CB king would be uh, Xavier Howard. Hey, you a dog, boy. He was one of the uh, toughest uh, corners I had to go against this year. Wilson throws it. Intercepted by X-Man. Oh, he got picked off. In the end zone. Metcalf was the intended receiver, but what a play by Xavier Howard. He was one that followed me around the whole game too, but he's just very physical, has that don't care attitude. You gotta be careful with because he's physical, he's in your face the whole game. You know, one of the corners that play true bump and run, they don't play nothing else, and uh, I respect his game. Okay, I know Stefan Diggs is around about that 5'11 mark, which would mean that Xavier and Howard looks about 6'3. I didn't actually look, or did I? He's 6'2, isn't he? 6'1. 203 pounds, but likes to initiate contact. I like seeing him out there. He's a, he's a guy that, uh, be careful, he'll get his hands on the ball before you do. Go get it now. It's one thing to lead the NFL in picks, but Howard's career high 20 pass breakups was also best in the league in 2020. Deep downfield to the end zone, it's incomplete. Give me a play if you can that we can dial off that really shows what he can do. Uh, did you see the Mahomes throw that he picked it over the one head? It gets Tyreek Hill. Yes, that's one play. I'm like, just just go watch. Have I seen it? Watch that. And, uh, you do. You you know what you need to know about it, right there. Well, all right then. Could have said that at the start, mate. What's Tyreek Hill going to say now? Just a better play, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And that's actually not a bad throw. It's just a better play made by Xavier Howard. Not many corners can go up and one hand interception in the end zone. He stepped up when we needed him. He's a guy that not a lot of people talk to. And, I mean, to have the speed to keep up with Tyreek, but I am going to say that that pass probably, you know, on a good day, could have been a couple of feet further, and then we wouldn't have. A pick, we'd actually have a Tyreek Hill touchdown, but talk about like the Jalen Ramsey and all that. Nobody really talks about. Point taken. Point taken. He knows how to pick off a pass. That's for sure. My ex like that, but he's a solid player for it. He's a really good player. You 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 get drafted in the first round. You, you and that, my friends, brings us to the end of another video. Xavier Howard, A.K.A. X. Not a bad player, not a bad player at all, but I just wish they'd include at least just a snippet of each of these individual players' actual voice in their video. You know, it's just something I like to put together with, you know, their stats and their gameplay and their reaction video that I'm making. I like to put a face to a name, but not only that, a voice to a name and a voice to a character and, you know, the, the way that they play the game of football. If you can, you know, if you, if you hear them speak, it kind of just completes the picture in my eyes anyways guys this video has gone on far too long we have 16 more players to go stay tuned it's going to be fun thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out